We are doing a uh, grand design reflection, a little different layout. Let's uh, take a look at what we got started and what our plan is and uh, keep you updated along the way. Down here in the bay where we're gonna do most of the install work, we've got uh, uh, well, a number of things going on. Uh, we took off the cover there on, uh, on that, uh, the bus bar system. So we're gonna put a big board up here with all the components that we actually have most of that done. Uh, we'll be putting the batteries here, five, of them, five battle borns all in a line. Strap them down with a uh, ratchet strap. And uh, we did take out the existing Furion charger and there's a panel up there. We're gonna take that out as well, similar to the other grand design that we did. One thing that's a little different in this one is there's an existing shunt here and I'm actually gonna try and use it because this customer, we are doing a Servo GX, but not the display. So we will keep the battery monitor active. So it'll be two shunts in line and I think it'll work just fine. Both will be measuring current in and out. And that should, it should work just fine. At least in my mind it will, we'll find out. So that's what's kind of going on there. Uh, we're gonna have the AC in and out pop through right over there. Show you what the plan is there. Oh, you know what? So on this side, they were nice enough to have an inverter prep. But the problem is, this is only good for an inverter, not an inverter charger. We need to get to the uh, main panel. If they ran the 6.3 wire here, we'd be good to go, but they don't. There comes so close, grand design, come on. Or maybe I'm wrong. Shoot something in the comments if I'm wrong. And I wish we could use that conduit, but it doesn't go far enough. So we're gonna punch through the wall. We're gonna come out here uh, on either side of this. Run into this compartment and then into the panel. Which is right there. So we've already done all the recon on that and uh, This is the Furion battery monitor that we are going to try and use. I'm pretty sure this is a rebadged, uh, Renogy sells one like this. I've seen this setting before. It's a white labeled something or other. That's probably my only knock on these is, don't white label stuff your own brand name on it. Just whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna talk bad about other companies. Not today. We got Coco. She's uh, managing things here, supervising. This is where our board's at for the time being. I'm about ready to button things up on here. Uh, plan is uh, cut notched out a little spot there for uh, where that DC system that's currently in there. And with just a handful of screws, this will go right up in there and uh, it's way easier to work on it like this than it is in that cramped compartment. And I uh, thought I'd just show what that little special cable that I keep talking about is. That's it. This is it right here. I've got... Uh, this is the... Let's focus on that. There we go. This is the step-down converter. This takes 12 volts in here and spits out five here. And you splice in one of these and it's good to go so i uh shrink heat shrink tube it all up and then uh screw it in positive negative we're good to go yeah and i do have to put a dummy fuse in here otherwise a red light would show up there so he's this customer is going to have uh, an extra slot that they can use for whatever they want because we're using a giant controller because we're going to be reusing the existing solar wire. And uh, what else we got? Oh, we got uh, six panels that are going up there. So, a lot of work today. We're already, we're already in pretty deep. No backing out now. Well, we're finishing up on uh, day two. And Coco is telling us it's time for a walk here soon. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Let's check in with where we're at.
Uh, not a lot to see here other than I just buttoned that up. Uh, I like to take, again, I like to take the, uh, uh, the 6'2", 6, 6, or 6'3", 6'4", wire that comes out of there, run that to the inverter and then back and then to the panel. And then uh, just wire nut that all together, button it up, test it, it's working good. Hi, yes. Uh, ran the uh, AC lines through there. There's the two, there's the pair of uh, 6.3 cables. And just ran that through some conduit, up through there, into the hole there. And then uh, out here, and then into the multi-plus. Then in here, I made one mistake, well at least one, uh, I forgot to put the blue cover on the uh, multi-plus, so that's going to be a pain in the butt to put that on. I just wasn't thinking about it when we got the board in here, but hey look, everything that we mounted on the board is here. And then uh, I got to get the uh, Link's distributor cover on, that is looking good. Made our main connections, oh and then this uh, little update on our situation uh, with our double shunt so we got battery here negative into here we're following here into the battery side of the shunt then from the ground side or uh, system negative we're going into our battery minus shunt there and then into the system negative so uh, as far as this shunt is concerned it doesn't need to know about that one and that one doesn't need to know about this one they don't know about each other I don't think that's going to cause any issues and it's going to let the uh, gauge inside still work. And then, uh, yeah, we got a couple other color covers to add on here, but uh, we're looking good. And then uh, solar is going in tomorrow morning and then we should be wrapping up. Oh, uh, ratchets dropped down all five of our Battleborn batteries all in a row. Looks good, huh? So now we just got to clean up our mess. Coco will make sure of that, and then we'll go for a walk. Another successful day. We didn't burn anything down. Uh, we, Coco, we are out of control. We have to give the people what they want. They want more LED lighting. So we give them more LED lighting. Look at that. You know what, that, that's that got UV in there. Look at that, that's like black light stuff. That's pretty cool. All right, and Coco and I will check in with you to, on the morrow. Well, here we are on the morning of Thursday. We've got uh, 1,200 watts on here. I think, let's count them. Yeah, one, two, three. Yep, six panels. And uh, using the existing port. And making good power, about 700 some watts right now. So something I want to talk about real quick that I think is a pretty clever solution and it's not the first time we've done it uh, is to put the shutoff right here on the bottom of the links and the reason for that is it also covers up that uh, potentially hot bus bar end. Now to do that we do have to drill it out we have to drill out both sides for the uh, shunt and the shutoff so uh, but we're all about trying to find elegant solutions. So from Coco and I and uh, everyone at Soda Solar, we're uh, wrapping this one up. We're just gonna do some final testing, but if you need any solar on your rig, need some help, uh, we'll even sell you just the stuff and help you install it if you want. So uh, check us out, sodasolar.com, or uh, hit us up. Bye.